because Ernesto right now is in Vietnam. He's been in Vietnam for two weeks. And when he gets back from Vietnam, I plan to propose to him. Yes, he proposed to me already in April, but you know, we are homosexuals and there are no rules. And um, I wanna to propose to him too. <laughs> and I'm really excited. He's walking around right now, not wearing a ring, looking single AF, and I'm not down for it because there are so many thirsty guys out there trying to get him, and gotta put a ring on it. I don't know what to expect. I don't even know if I should make it a big deal because he already proposed to me and I said yes. We will see. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so um, I just went to the jewelry store and um, apparently getting an engagement ring is not like Costco. You can't just show up and get it and leave with one. News to me, it's gonna be ready in about two weeks, so I'm not gonna be able to propose to him when he gets back from Vietnam like I had originally thought I was. We'll have to figure out what happens and where am I gonna do it and how. So this is slowly turning into a fail. So, it turns out that Ernesto's ring is finally ready. It's actually, oh the fan. So, um, it turns out that Ernesto's ring is Finally ready. Oh, do I have a memory card in here? I did. I just called and Ernesto's ring is ready to be picked up and I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. And then you guys can see what it looks like. Well, it looks exactly like this because it's the same one. So I don't know if that's whatever. I'm gonna go pick it up and I'm very excited. I still don't know what I'm gonna do how I'm gonna do it, where I'm gonna do it, but um, at least I'll have it when the moment's right. You, you get more light that way. Thanks for watching. That was our home tour. Um, a little slice of our life for you guys. Oh wait, wait, hold on. I have a secret. What? Um, that I've been wanting to tell you. What? <laughs> um, so remember on that first night that we met mm -hmm. at the bar? Mm -hmm. um, I, I like telling people that story in a different way than what it actually happened. Um, because I usually tell people that story saying that I walked in there super confident and like all the guys were checking me out and you were stalking me, right? Uh -huh. But the truth is, is that I was very, very, very afraid to fall in love and confidence was my defense mechanism and so I would like feign confidence because I was too scared to fall in love with anybody. So you're the first person <laughs> that cut down through my walls and I want to say that that's the real story is that I was so insecure that I could never find someone to love me as much as you. <laughs> and that <laughs> And so, that's the truth, and I want to tell you the truth, is that you're the first person that I ever <laughs> fell in love with, and I, it was the scariest thing that I had to do, because it was the scariest thing that I could ever think of doing. Why are you crying? And so I want to tell you that, because...
<laughs> I can't imagine spending my life with anybody else. <laughs> and this may be less emotional because you've already done it to me. <laughs> I, I just want to say... Oh, that was so weird. <laughs>